Did you pick up where you left off last year? I, mean, I think it... so. I think, you know, the last seven games last year, we, right. were, we were averaging 42 points a game, and that's kind of what we came in this year and thought that we needed to, you know, that was our goal, and that's what we wanted to do right off the bat, and maybe even a little bit more. And so it's just a matter of what I was really proud of the other day is they took the field every single drive and expected to score and, you know, and played hard and stayed focused, and with the exception of the first drive, you know, which A.J. dropped third down conversion. Other than that, the ones scored every time they had the ball, and that, that's just something of being disciplined and being focused enough to to just stay concentrating the whole game. And you and you've told you said this before. You, you want to score every time. I mean, no right? Question. I mean, there's that's no reason to be goal. out there, right? That's our goal. Every okay. time we take the field, our expectations are to go score, and that's that's what we want to do. And obviously, some games, you know, it, it might not happen, but that's what we want to do, and that's what we expect to do. Red zone. You're 10 for 10. You get all but two, all but two, or touchdowns. So eight of 10 touchdowns and two field goals when you're in the red zone again. That's got to be something that that makes the offensive coordinator happy. I think it's something we keep building on. I think okay. anytime. When you have the ability to run the football, then you're better in the red zone. Okay. You know, you see all these gimmick spread offenses that struggle in the red zone because they can't run the football. But if you if you have the ability to run the football and you can get in different sets so they can't take away the run, then that always helps you in the red zone.